Imagine a world where your wildest stories come to life, where your imagination knows no bound, where you can create unique and engaging stories with just a few lines of code. Thanks to OpenAI API and GPT-4 model, this dream can now become a reality. Hello guys, I am Simranjit Singh and in this video, I will take you on a journey of how to unleash your creativity with the power of GPT-4 models and OpenAI API and create and generate captivating stories for your audience. This is a complete end-to-end -end project video in which we can build an AI-powered app to generate a captivating and interesting stories. So let's get dive in and get started. So the first step is to install the required libraries. To begin with, we need to install the OpenAI package which provides the interface to interact with the GPT-4 model. So you can easily install it by using the pip command. Just open your terminal and write this command pip install open AI. So once the installation is completed, we can move to the next step of setting up the authentication and the API key. So to set up the uh, like uh, uh, API key to get the access of the GPT-4 model, you need to have an API key from the open AI website. So we can obtain by signing into their website. Once you have the API key, we can store it in the configuration file or in the environment variable. So now you, you install the required library, you have the API key. So it is good to go to start building our project. So the first step in this thing is to create the story prompts because story prompts are the foundation of any great story. Because if you need to know the concept of the story, you need to know the theme of the story, you need to build a prompt around that idea. So you can gather a diverse set of story prompts from various sources like books, websites, and uh, you can also generate your own prompts. As you can see, I just write three prompts for this project. So these pro th uh, three prompts are the ideas of my prompts or just like uh, uh, starting lines of my uh, stories as well so that the GPT-4 model can use its creativity to complete these lines and generate a story around this, my idea. So you can always aim for a wide range of prompts to encourage the diverse and creative story generation. So once you have collected the story prompts, it's time to pre-process them to ensure that they're in a suitable format for your GPT-4 model. Because sto story prompts can come in various formats as well. It can be as sentences like I used, it can be as paragraphs, it can be even as images as well. So depending on the in input format that is required by the GPT-4 API, you need to pre-process the prompts to ensure they are in the right format because GPT-4 API can only un un uh, understand the prompts that are written in a single line. So this may involve like uh, removing the unwanted characters fr from your text or converted Im uh, images to the text or splitting the long, long paragraphs into a smaller chunk that is understandable by the GPT-4 API. Once your story prompts are completely pre-processed, we are ready to generate the uh, creative stories uh, by using the GPT-4 model. So next step is a very interesting part because in this step, we can use the GPT-4 API to generate creative stories based on the pre-processed prompts. As you can see, I just like a, a run of for loop on all my prompts and, and then I pass one prompt at a time to this openai.completion.create function. And this function take one prompt, generate the story and store it in the list that is called prompt response pairs. So, as you can see that, uh, like uh, I used various kind of uh, parameters as well in this uh, openai completion.create function. So these parameters basically decide the word length or uh, randomness or uh, creativity or like the maximum number of prompts you can use. So like these kind of things you can control by these parameters. So you can also, also customize these parameters as well according to your a requirement as well like there is a parameter called number of tokens like how long the text you want to generate from the open api so that uh, depend on this parameter there is a, another parameter it is called temperature as well 
the temperature parameter actually handle the randomness or the creativity of the uh, GPT-4 model. So the more randomness you have, the more creative your story will become. So 0.7 kind of a temperature is the best temperature because at this temperature, GPT-4 model can generate a very unique or uh, creative uh, stories as, as well because if you increase the temperature, it can also like uh, uh, tend to generate the false kind of uh, information as well. So we need to be in a very uh, neutral way. So as you can see, the stories are now generated and these stories are truly unique and reflect the creative capabilities of the GPT-4 model. You can experiment with different prompts, parameters and styles to create stories that are tailored to your specific requirements. So now, as you can see, these stories, you can also like uh, do more about these stories by using the concept of prompt engineering because prompt engineering can help you write good prompts that can be more understandable by the GPT-4 models or large language models and they can give you more accurate, efficient and creative out uh, output as well. So you want to like uh, refine or edit the these kind of stories to make them more polished and uh, engaging. So you can uh, experiment with uh, adding additional information and context to the prompts because as you can see, there is my original prompt. This is the context of the prompt. So that shows that this is my story idea. This is the story idea context, like in what con context I want to like generate a story or in what context uh, my story is about to begin. So this can give more uh, information to the G uh, GPT-4 model and it can generate more unique and creative st story around it. So you can make also changes to the plot, characters, dialogues and add other elements as well. To, to make a coherent and ca captivating story. So with the power of GPT-4 API, you created your own unique and engaging stories. So now is the time to build a Flask app so that you can create an interactive uh, AI powered app to generate stories by uh, using a web framework. So Flask is a very powerful web framework in Python. Flask al allows you to build a uh, user in interface and can handle user interactions and making it easy to integrate with the GPT-4 API for generating the con uh, content or stories, all kind of things. So the first thing here, we need to create a HTML file that is called index.html. And in that file, you create a form or an input field that accept the user inputs about their story ideas or prompts as well. Because these ideas or prompts can be pre-processed and used in the uh, GPT-4 model to generate the stories. And the next file you create, it is called story.html. That file is used to show the res uh, results or sh show the generated st uh, stories on the uh, in a very formatted way. Or like you can also like some add more features in this story.html page to uh, make story summarization as well to make story ranking as well or to uh, do the story customization features as well and these all things can be done easily by the uh, gpt4 model and we, uh, and i also like uh, uh, make a modified or the part two of this video in which i can implement all these features as well like story summarization story ranking and story enhancement so once you redefine and edit the story to your satisfaction and build the app. It's time to share this AI powered app on cloud or the hosting website so that more and more users can access it and use it to generate the stories or even they can write a book or e-book e as well. Your stories will be captivating and inspiring to others. So take them on a journey of your imagination. And there you have it. With the power of GPT-4 API, you can create, customize and share unique captivating stories that can showcase your creativity and imagination. Whether you are a uh, writer, content creator or simply someone who loves storytelling, GPT-4 can be a powerful tool to bring your ideas to life. Thank you for joining me in this journey for storytelling with GPT-4 API and then in this end-to-end -end project with the GPT-4 API. I hope this tut uh, tutorial will inspire you to explore more about these AI tools. So thank you guys, but don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video and our YouTube channel 
to increase the reach thank you guys thank you so much